All right, so Patrick, tell us your name and tell us a little bit about yourself. My name is Patrick McDonald. I'm the supervising producer on Vanderpump Rules. Have you ever skipped Legs Day and what are your opinions on skipping Legs Day? <laughs> Never, ever skip <laughs> Legs Day. I like to do something with legs every day. I like do like, like wow. 100 squats, you know? 100 squats? Yeah. Damn. That's impressive. <laughs> how do you handle conflicts between you and castmates? I don't know, Tom. How do I? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I think you do all right. There's one thing that comes to mind, the reunion. Cameras are up if anyone's together, like, the whole time. Dude, you know? no, man. Like, no. You can have I'm taking being, my mic off. All of them, as they're eating lunch, they're filming that. You know what I mean? Dude, no, man. I don't want to talk to her, like, not about, I don't want a camera on my Goddamn face. Stop with me. me. I have to remind myself that 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not about me. No. You know? And so I don't take it personally. With being a producer, you try to be as fair as possible. I knew that we were covering the rest of the cast while we were eating lunch. And since this was the first time we were seeing y'all since all of this happened, it was important to cover that. You know, it happens, things get heated, but you know, we move on. We're we're in a much better place now, I think, wouldn't you say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. How long have you been in reality? I think it was like seven or eight years ago. Um, this opportunity kind of just like presented itself to me to be on an ensemble reality show. It was actually kind of like the gay version of Summer House. And that was my first foray into reality, you know, just kind of seeing how it all works and just gave me a whole newfound understanding for how these shows are made. Building relationships with my producers on that show, I would watch them and how they interact with the cast and stuff. And I was like, what a cool job. Such an interesting way to like tell fascinating stories and get to know people after that show ended. Um, you decided you wanted to produce? Yeah. So what are some specific things that you learned being on a reality show like Fire Island? I think one of my biggest strengths as a producer is I'm coming into it with a level of empathy and understanding that most producers don't have. Usually the thing that you don't want to talk about the most is the thing that A, people are going to want to hear about the most, but also the thing that people are going to relate to the most. And I learned that by doing it. So when I approach a cast member now, I have that experience to draw upon. And I'm like, I know you don't want to talk about this. And like, I know this is really hard, but I think you really should. And usually nine times out of 10, I feel better about it afterwards. Would it be a fair assessment to say that pretty much a lot of our job description is having the one conversation that you don't want to have with the one person you don't want to have it with? 100%. Yeah. Right? You know. After like three drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so basically if you're going to an event and there's somebody that you don't want to talk to, you can pretty much guarantee you're that. You're talking to that person. You're talking to that person that night. You yeah. Know? I think that's pretty much it. Do you have anything else you'd like to add? Well, I mean, I guess this means you finally get your producer credit now. I do finally get my producer credit, <laughs> everybody. Yes. All right. All right. Well, let's go shoot another scene. Let's do it.